Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix. And today we're going to be doing something which I haven't seen done uh, so far in all these years I've been uh, uh, been playing around and uh, studying Hercules and uh, mainframe and frame mainframe technology and that is installing Hercules on a real mainframe under Z Linux, Linux for the mainframe on the real iron and and then uh, get Hercules to run on top of it. Um, so uh, why am I able to do that? Well, the University of Leipzig has, has been very uh, gracious in granting me access to their ZOS 2.1 and to their ZVM system and now has given me an image um, on an LPAR, on a, on, a, on a logical partition of Z Linux. And uh, I'm root on that Linux. And so after uh, discussing this and getting just, you know, to be nice approval from the University of Leipzig, as you can see here, that's the web page, that's a data center web page. They said, yeah, sure, go ahead and uh, do that. And then, you know, let us know what you find out. And so I'm letting them know, I'm letting, I'm letting you know, University of Leipzig through this video, what the experience is of getting this up and running. So um, I have to restart my session here because uh, because it expired so I started um, and so let's see if this still works yeah that works so perfect now um, I've previously um, already logged in and uh, made sure that um, all the right stuff is installed and uh, what we're going to do now is get uh, Hercules installed this is uh, as far as I know, this is uh, SLES, so this is uh, SUSE Linux running on the mainframe, as you can see here, pretty decent kernel. Uh, and let's see what kind of machine we have. We have four gigabytes on this Hercules machine and two CPUs. Okay, so let's get started. So, um, of course, first of all, we need to get Hercules. It's, of course, not installed. Um, and we do have H top, so that's fine. I can look here what's running and uh, how many users are. I'm the only user right now. So, um, as you know, SLES has its own packaging system. Let me remove this window to uh, remove any glare. Okay, so no more glare. So, first of all, we need to install Hercules, then we need to obtain. Uh, MBSTK4. So why don't we start with Hercules? There is a package manager on Slash called Zipper. So I need to be, of course, a root to install it. Zipper install. Oh, zipper install Hercules or Hercules. Uh, let's hope it's available. If it's not available as a package, I may have to go and uh, download it and compile it myself. I didn't even check if there is a, uh, a new compiler here on this machine. I assume there is. Oh, yeah, it is available as a package. And it's Hercules 3.12. Perfect. That's a very good uh, release. So now we have Hercules, I hope. Yes, Hercules uh, 3.2. Fantastic. The next step will be to um, obtain TK4. Now TK4 is not really meant to run on Linux on the mainframe. And as you remember, uh, the architecture we're running here is not Linux on the on, on the Intel or anything like that. This is S390X, so this is 64-bit Linux. And why am I mentioning that? Because Hercules uh, has delivered uh, MVS 3.8 as delivered by TK4. Um, MVS TK4 TTH includes its own Hercules binaries, but we cannot use those binaries because there's no binaries right now for the mainframe architecture. There's only binaries for the Intel, Windows, and Linux, 32 and 64-bit architectures, as well as the ARM architecture, and that's it. So since this, this binaries will not work, uh, the Linux binaries for Intel don't work, obviously, on the mainframe because it's completely different CPU architecture, we need to obtain ETH but start in a different way. So first of all let's get MBS 3.8 from this website, that's the original website, and let's do uh, 
wget. So now what we do is we unzip. That's pretty fast. As you can see here, there are binaries here for the ARM and for Linux 32-bit, 64-bit for the Intel, uh, for the Intel architecture, but not obviously for this mainframe. And uh, if I do uh, more C uh, proc CPU info, you will see that this indeed is as an IBM real hardware mainframe um, and uh, it has uh, two CPUs and so uh, this has nothing to do with Intel and this is not emulated this is a real mainframe right now at the University of Leipzig so now that we unzip this let's go and run it so how do we run this Hercules um, the configuration file for her for TK4 is in the subdirectory conf. Uh, where is conf in here? And this is the Hercules configuration file. We can actually, since we have two CPUs, let's go change it. Um, conf. And let's add two CPUs to make this. Um, <coughs> modern let's, let's make this so that you know that this is the instance I started we're not going to put an HTT port because that's too dangerous um, and two CPUs oops okay and offset uh, we're that's fine we're this is Central Europe Leipzig is a town in, in Central Europe, in Germany. Okay, so now let's start it. And if everything went well, we should be able to just start um, MVS. Yes. So that went well. Um, now we have to IPL it. So we see here two CPUs. That's fine. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So this should just somehow work what will not work is certain features of tk4 such as the ftp daemon and other stuff that will not work but most of tk4 update 8 which is what we have here will work uh, by the way i should maybe start it inside a screen session okay Her and then hercules conf tk4 okay so you see here we're still on the same machine and let's start htop and we should see hercules here running now perfect and now um we just ipl from that's the address 148 i just happen to know that and it says specify system parameters for release zero it's already started to run the first million instructions have already executed now it's waiting for uh input from me and what we say is reply zero zero command equals zero three i don't want automatic ipling of mvs because all kind of stuff comes up which is really meant when you start it on an intel or or a compatible machine there's a bunch of things we don't want to be running here um, on the real mainframe so remember we're emulating a mainframe on a mainframe uh this is what we because this hercules right now is running on a real mainframe and this hercules is emulating a mainframe so <coughs> there's two mainframes here stacked on top of each other so um let's see how far we got okay so now um mvs is already up and running before we can start anything we need to first start the job entry subsystem too so let's start that by hand and it wants some as you can see here he wants to know what startup option so i say zero zero no requests meaning no specific request and that's it um let's check with dollar da if jess is up yes so that's already jess answering hasp houston automatic spool program zero 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 no active jobs so that's that's good now we need to start vtam which is a job procedure called net 
Okay, so now VTAM is coming up. IST, as you know, are messages by VTAM. So, and these are messages obviously by MVS, IEA, it's the IO subsystem of MVS, telling us that some devices are not present. Because, as I said, a TK4 is really meant to be running on uh, real uh, Intel machines or ARM, where it can emulate certain things, such as the 3705 uh, communications controller, which is program written and compiled for the Intel processors, and so will not run on a S390 processor. But uh, this should be enough um, to actually launch TSO. Um, yeah, let's try to launch TSO. TCAS accepting logons. TCAS is initialized, so I think it's a good time for us now. Yes, perfect. And we should see now, this should tell us the terminal just connected. Yes. Okay, so we just connected. And if I press enter here, I should able, be able to log in as Herc01. This time the password is see you later. And that's it. Very, very easy. We just uh, log in. Yeah. If I say DA minus L, show all active jobs, it should also be, give an answer here in this in this uh, console window as well as here. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, got an answer in both. And if I do it here, uh, you get also a reply here. So now it's sending a request. So this all works. Obviously, there's no reason why anything inside MVS wouldn't work. So uh, let's go ahead and execute a sample job. Let's find some prime numbers in COBOL. held output and let's run it that's it Hercules that started and ended very very quickly let's go check the output queue and here it is this all ran in a very very short time I mean can't even measure what is it uh, this ran in a fifth of a second so extremely fast you can see this wouldn't run this fast if it was if this was an emulated Zen Linux on top of a Hercules because um, you could somebody could argue I'm just running Hercules on top of Z Linux on top of Hercules on top of um, of uh, let's say um, a VM or something or, or or on another Hercules so who t who's guaranteeing that not running three levels of Hercules here but I'm not because it wouldn't be this fast and you can see this is a real processor and uh, so everything runs just fine there's certain things that will not run like ftpd if, i don't know what happens I never try this start ftpd server port equals 2100 yeah of course it starts it on the mvs side but i don't i'm pretty sure we cannot connect it let's try ftp local host 2100 yeah yeah, um, oh, we don't have FTP installed. Uh, but we can try to do Telnet localhost 2100. Yeah, so that's not going to work because the code in TK4, MVS TK4, as delivered by Jurgen uh, here, that, um, that it makes it possible to have certain TCP IP tools such as FTP and mail and certain others relies on a program running outside Hercules on the Intel processor, which emulate, which which forwards TCP IP traffic. And since that is written for Intel and compiled for Intel, it's never going to run here. But nothing bad happens. Everything else continues to run, apparently. So um, this all looks fine. Um, this is just normal, very normal MBS 3.8 running on Hercules on top of Z Linux on a, on a, in a logical partition on a real Z114 mainframe real iron mainframe at the university of leipzig in germany thank you again university of leipzig we could do some benchmarking here but that's really not the point i mean um there's no need for all that so um you can see here this uses very little resources so let's 
just log off here and that's about it um, this is all I wanted to show here today that it is absolutely possible to run to run MVS on an architecture other than the one as delivered standard for Intel or Windows or 32 or 64 bit here we're running it on a real mainframe and why not uh, nothing inherently weird or obviously not illegal with that um, this is a public domain operating system Hercules is open source and Linux is open source on the mainframe as well and we're just running an application on top of that we I'm not even I'm, I don't even need to be root to run Hercules on the mainframe I needed to be obviously root for a short time to install Hercules but if I just downloaded the source code and pile it myself, myself I, did, I wouldn't need that even so this all works just fine uh, as you can see here um, lots of fun with the stuff we can do uh, hercules always new possibilities we never never run out of ideas i hope you had fun watching this video if you like this particular video please press on the thumbs up button if you have any questions about what we just did here please uh, put them on the in the comment section below this video if you haven't subscribed to the moshix mainframe channel yet please subscribe now and see you very soon thank you for watching goodbye